Welcome to AFC RD TV. I'm here at uh, Hitchin Town, Monday evening game. A draw for the Diamonds, Hitchin Town 1, uh, Diamonds 1. I'm here with uh, man of the match, Matty Slynn. Matty, uh, disappointed in the dressing room? Yeah, hard to take. Um, should have seen it out, really. Um, should be coming away with three points. It weren't, easy, it weren't an easy game, but we've done enough, I felt. Um, one mistake and it um, gave them a chance. They obviously scored. And uh, yeah, obviously going there, heads down, disappointed. First half, we came out of the box pretty quick, didn't we? And uh, both the uh, two wingers were getting in and uh, we probably deserved an early lead. Yeah, we had a lot of chances, as usual. Um, but we're just struggling to put them away at the moment. Um, we're relying on defence a bit too much. Um, they are scoring the goals and keeping clean sheets. And obviously, um, we need to start getting more goals from different areas of the pitch. Yeah, I mean, I can't, don't think uh, Heath made a save, did he? I had to make a save. I can't remember him making a save. A few just easy pickups, but no, same as usual, really. And the goal, as usual, comes from a set piece. And yeah. uh, Jack Ashton, the far post. And you think then we're going to go on and win it? Yeah. We've seen our games before, away at, away at Stratford, uh, not Stratford, sorry, away at uh, Barwell in the first game of the season. We've seen our games and scored late on to make it 2-0. So it's nothing new to us, we've been there before. Um, but yeah, it just didn't, didn't go the way we wanted it to today in the last five minutes or so. Yeah, and I think uh, the ball wasn't sticking near the end. No. Um, it kept coming back, didn't it, and going back over the top of you. Yeah, uh, weren't necessarily the strikers' faults and all, but the, the delivery, the the quality of the pass up front and into the areas weren't good enough um, from all over the pitch, really. Um, so, yeah, it's just decision making at the end, I suppose. And of course, a mistake at the end from a player who doesn't normally make mistakes. I can't remember one in three no. or three hundred games. Usually, Mr. Consistent. Obviously, today he's had a cracking game, I still think, defensively, as usual. It's just that one mistake. And obviously, he knows what he's done, he knows he knows he can, uh, he knows what to do next time. But, uh, yeah, I wouldn't expect to make it through to be honest. I think it's. And for you, I know you've uh, you started the season in a team and you were left out, but you've got back in. Um, yeah. And it's tough, isn't it? And, uh, there's a lot of competition. It's harder than it probably gets credit for. There's a lot of competition in a lot of areas of the pitch, and that's why I think the squad changes so much over the last what four, five, six games. Starting eleven has changed a lot. Formation has changed a lot because there are so many, so many good players in different different positions. And uh, we've got a few players injured, 11 days without a game, unfortunately, out to the FA Cup and uh, yeah. training to look forward to. <laughs> yeah, hard training, uh, willing to expect. Um, and the, it'll be tough, yeah. And the next game's tough, hence for the way. That'll be a really yeah. tough game. Every game's tough in this league. Uh, every game's been the same, same, same as difficult. Same difficulty every game. Um, some games obviously are different, some like at home to Leeston, we have more of the ball. Um, but every game's a fight, a battle. And, um, you know, hopefully we can uh, come away from that one with three points because we need it now. And final point, um, Paddy Casey, he's come through our academy, I know you're yeah. here for Northampton, uh, made his debut today, um, he did alright didn't he? Yeah, he's excellent to be fair, he's very good um, on the ball, off the ball, yeah, done very well. Alright mate, I'll let you go, well congratulations on today's performance and I'll see you again soon. Top man, thank you. Sir. Thanks Matt, I'm now here with uh, manager Andy Peets. Andy, um, I think we've been having this conversation all season, I'm, I presume you're disappointed. Two points dropped? Yeah, definitely two points dropped. Um, with that close to winning, yeah, you'd say that when you sometimes you get a late equaliser, it's a point gain. Uh, but yeah, to be that close to winning and having the amount of possession, amount of chance we had, it's definitely two points dropped. And uh, the mistake came from player. I don't think I was saying earlier. Three hundred games, I can't remember anything like that. No, he, you know he's tried a back pass, which I don't know what's made him do it. Obviously, but he doesn't make many bad decisions. But that obviously he was one, and we got punished for it, which seems to be happening at the moment. When you know, apart from that, he was great, weren't he? But so he hasn't made many mistakes in his three hundred games. Um, and that's what he want to forget, but that's what happens in footballs, unfortunately. But again, it's the same old story for me. We should have been outside by then anyway. And I don't think Ben Heath made his save, did he? No, I don't think he did, no. Uh, a bit of a pattern to the last few games, really. Um, you know, when you have good spells, you have to score more goals. And like I said, we'd scored a good goal. I was happy with that. Um, but sometimes at 1-0, I all say it, yeah, there's a little an opportunity at some point, somehow by deflection or a mistake or good play. And that's what they got. And because we'd only got the one goal, we can't expect to keep keeping clean sheets to win games we've got we've got to be more clinical we started really well i thought we uh, just probably should have got an early lead benakai and uh, johnson were getting down both wings yeah i thought we played all right overall i thought in general as a game i was quite pleased with how we played i thought we played some good stuff got it out wide were threat uh, in general play and from set pieces 
Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's why it's so disappointing, really, to have played so well and only picked the point up again. And the two strikers who started both holding the ball up well, and uh, yeah. Dovey nearly, well, he nearly smashed the goalkeeper into yeah. the net. Actually. I mean, yeah, Mal's got in a couple of times as well. Uh, Dovey's had a good opportunity, which the goal is saved. He didn't even know he saved it. Alex Collard's had a header before that when he saved it. We've had others go across the box where we need to be getting on stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, for me, it's game management. Then you wouldn't have looked with whatever to go. You got to just turn them round and keep playing in their half and kill the game off. And we didn't manage to do that. We've got enough experience. We've got some young kids out there, but we've got enough experience to do that as well. And we didn't. Um, so yeah, it's disappointing. And let's talk about the young kids. Matty Sullivan got man of the match from uh, Radio Diamonds. Yeah, no, I thought it was good. You know, we know he's a good player. He came out of the team. He had a few games. He came out of the team because he's only a young lad. Uh, and he went in today and proved what he's all about. I thought it was good. As was Paddy Casey. He came in because Zach wasn't fit. Um, and I keep saying it proves we've got good good depth in the squad and good youngsters coming through. You look at you know on the you know with Ben Accord playing as well and there's some good young lads out there, which is which I've said I wanted to do. So that that's a plus. But yeah, we should be talking about and winning tonight, and not drawing. And uh, we have a free Saturday. What are you planning for Saturday? I'll be going to a game. I'll be going to a game tomorrow night, and I'll be going to one on Saturday, John. And uh, do the coaches as well? Yeah, they're all got games to go to Saturday, so everyone will be out and about. And 11 days to think about, and we've got another tough one, Hensford, that's yeah. going to be quite a battle in it. Yeah, they're a good side, that's going to be a real tough game. Um, I think there's not any easy games, these are one of the teams that are near the bottom, so to speak, but they work really hard, I knew it would be tough here. Um, they've, they've lost games marginally, um, they'll, win, they'll win games. Um, there's not any easy games in this league, I said it last year, I've said it again this year. And still looking to strengthen the squad if you can? Yeah, I'm always looking to strengthen, John, you know that, so we've got a little bit of a break now to hopefully get another body in and certainly get some of the ones back fit. Um, so yeah, we, it's, it's, it's a good break to have at this stage of the season, we've got some good points on the board. Um, it's just a shame we're not two points better off tonight because it would have been an even better break then. Oh mate, I'll let you go. Thanks Cheers John.